right. I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. So Hello everyone. I'm here. Oh, I didn't I didn't ask uh I didn't even ask how to pronounce your name, but uh, uh if you'd like to Jarl? Jarl with a hot. Is that correct? What was that? Jarl. Jarl. Okay. So we're here on Omega Chess. Um I'll post the links and whatnot below. Um this is a 10 by 10 board with also the corner pieces. And we have two extra pieces, which are the champion and the wizard yes um the wizard moves like a one three knight and also moves one diagonally um and the wizard moves two in any direction as well as one orthogonal so it says here that uh is a, a mega chess is a commercial chess variant designed by daniel mcdonald in toronto the game is played on 10 by 10 board with extra squares um Part of the reason for adding the new pieces was to equalize the number of drumming pieces with sliding pieces. The wizard was created specifically to be color bound piece, a parallel to the bishop. Um, yeah. So we're also doing 960 or Fisher random of this. So we have our bishops in the corner, which actually is pretty interesting. Um, the wizards look like this moon shape and the champions, uh, I, I think it kind of looks like a gravestone, but um, just just one thing: um, the um, the champions move one or two in straight lines, and then two diagonally. Oh yeah, I, so I uh, I kind of said it a different way, where they can move uh, exactly two in in any direction, which would be diagonally or orthogonally, and then they can also move one orthogonal. Oh, okay. So, um, so I think that's the same way of saying, it, but. Uh, so the champion, it's a, how it says on here, jumps two squares in any direction or slides one square orthogonally. Um, here are the values. I'm going to need to make a move soon. Ah, All right. And the pawns can move one, two, or three? Yes. But once they've moved, um, Four. then they can only move one after that. Yes. And there's also on the sun as well. All right. Uh, so what, uh, like, br what brought you? What made you uh, find this variant, or want to play this variant, or like this variant? Um, I mean, I've always liked big, chaotic games, so I always go for games like this. Um, and uh, you know, I knew about this game a long time before being able to ever try it. Um, and I was, uh, I've been lobbying for this variant on, on pie chess where I frequent. Um, but uh, mm. the problem is that these four corner squares create um, intractable coding problems for, for them. So, but uh, this website is like pretty decent for it. Uh, the one, one thing I was confused about on the site, at least, was um, does it only allow you play allow you to play one hundred non tournament games? Is uh, that true? I don't know. Um, I guess like a hundred games of any kind is probably more than I'm ever gonna play at once. Yeah. Was, or no, like it's it seemed like it said like a hundred in total. Oh was, no! Oh I mean, no! No, I think it just means a hundred at once. Ah, okay. That that would make a lot more sense. In a tricky position. <laughs> yep. Try Is there any it. plus time on these clocks? And so, yeah, I was actually confused about the clocks when we played this. So what? Okay. Oh, maybe not. So does it not tell you the other person's time? 
Or when it's your turn? Um, I think that it's just kind of buggy. So right now it's telling me you've got 26, 30. I refreshed and then it, um, and I have 28. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm I'm more used to the wizard. I played with a one three knight on. It's not a website that exists anymore. Um, but it had wildebeest chest, and it had a one three wildebeest, and it also had a. Well, actually, it had a one three camel, and then the wildebeest was a knight plus a camel. What was the website? Was it Jockley? Yeah, that's what it, that's what it was. Uh. The, um, the creator of that website left me a, a comment on one of my chess.com posts, and I asked him mm -hmm. if he was going to, uh, what happened to Musketeer Chess? He just said that it's uh, it's in the uh, in construction, I guess. So, but not with Jock, Gock, Jockley, or just with something else? Um, I'm not sure. Didn't really elaborate. Oh, I actually need to... Oh, I think... I can't take that bishop, can I? Because your wizard, wizard defends... That's, that's correct. A, that's a nice move. Um, Alright. I don't think I'm going over there to attack that anytime soon. Musketeer chess once or twice, uh, and then the site went down. Oh, that's a shame. Is it a good game? Is it like well, well constructed? Yeah, I think so. So instead of um, so like Sarawan chess, it's just you get to pick one person picks one piece and one person picks the other piece, and it's out of like ten pieces. Um, so it's not. I don't think it's too wild, and they're they're fairly common fairy pieces. I would say. Mm -hmm. And the Sarawan pieces are in there. The like a lot of the common, yeah, the ones that are on other variants are in there. I guess one um, concern I had about that. I mean, I've never played a game, so I'm not too familiar. But like, isn't it just like the um, the Knight Rook hybrid is like just the most powerful? So everyone's just gonna go for that, which makes the the choices a bit redundant. Well, no. So like, um, I mean, that could be the thing, but I. Like, so I pick one piece and you pick one piece, and then we both play with those two pieces as extra pieces. Um, oh, so okay. So, I mean, if you get the Night Rook, so does your opponent. So, I see. Okay. Good, good clarification. So, yeah, I would, I mean, I would, maybe there could be like piece specialists or something. Maybe if you have a favorite piece or, or just better with Leaper, I don't know, different types mm -hmm. of pieces then. Yeah, that's a pretty, pick a pretty clever idea. Oh, did you, oh, sorry, I did not see that you went. Oh, yeah, went sorry. Um, I'm just, like, periodically refreshing every now and yeah. then. Yeah, I, I just refresh, that's why. That's...
hopefully it won't come down to really fast moves at the end, but I'm not, I mean, that's, that's half of chess games, I guess. Yeah, I hope it doesn't. I guess the, one of the main downsides to this game is you can't force um, checkmate with king and rook because the, the king can always uh, get to the corner and just hide there. You can checkmate with one bishop. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, we did think of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the the king and rook in games. <laughs> yeah, I have more trouble with the the champion piece than the the wizard piece. I think. Yeah, I think that the, the champion is kind of... I could take it all and leave it. It's, it's the wizard that makes this game. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of options. Yeah, I, I tend to favor games that are like this because then, like, if you're more intuitive, then you can uh, get further against, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've got a couple of wins over the engine and on Pie Chess at uh, Grand House, so it's ten by ten, but it's Crazy House. Yeah. Nice. But in S House, I can't. It just destroys me every time. Do you have any other uh, bigger board favorite variants? Or uh, no, not really. I mean, there there aren't a lot that you can play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. In in shogi, there are some. Um, there are some yeah. versions of shogi that are just like absurdly big um and it's kind of but like they don't even know how they were played like on the, they're like some of them are like so big that you need a manual to like yeah I know. I've seen that game. The... kind of wonder like in those variants, like maybe um, they move like several pieces at once, something like that. Uh, not, I don't think so. I know. I think it's. I think it starts with a K. Some it's. I'll look it up real quick. Um, but there was some like two grandmasters that like did finish a game on TV or something like that. Oh, interesting. Taiku? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. T-A-I-K-Y-O-K-U? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's just a very, very long list of pieces. <laughs> and it, yeah, I was, let me type this in. Let's show it on the screen. 
T A I K K Bishop. What is the casting move? Um, I just like spend a bunch of. I think if you click like King to H one, so okay. um, it's like regular oh. Omega chess. It's like it's um. Well, it's not letting me cast, or it's I'm not able to castle right now. Or I'm not clicking the right thing to castle. Well, you, um, I think I, I had to like try several things, but I think I clicked like King E eight and then clicked say H one. H9, I mean. It's giving me something. Well, it's giving me something to rush uh, And I just have to push Maybe try okay. clicking I1 or I0. Same. Oh, there we go. Yeah, J0 for me. Oh, weird. <laughs> Yeah, I really liked Grand Chess when I first found it. Um, and I do think, I mean, I do really like the 10 by 10 board. Um, I mean, I'm nowhere near, I wouldn't say I'm good at it. But. Yeah, I prefer the 10 by 10 to the 10 by 8 quite a bit. Like the, yeah. the, the symmetry does a lot for me. I prefer, and I like on Grand Chess where they the pawns promote earlier. I think that makes more sense than Shaco. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Try this pawn break. See if it does anything. Do you have any favorite uh, pieces? Uh, maybe the wizard is a uh, is a strong uh, candidate. Um, oh, which one was it? The the wizard. I think it's pretty cool, even though it's just a minor piece. Um, I also like the Archbishop, um, especially in the Crazy House variants. You get a lot of cool mates. Yeah. What about you? I, don't, I really like the... Uh, it's on Green Chess, the Centaur. Um, it's a King plus Knight combo. Okay, interesting. I recently, uh, actually just uh, yesterday, finished this little blog post um, called Why Don't Chess Variants Work? Um, <laughs> and uh, people have been sending me their variants. Uh, it's been pretty interesting, actually. And there was, there was one with like um, pieces that promote, so like knights that promote to king knights. And bishops that promote to king bishops, so then they, the bishops can change color. I have a pretty big list saved, and I've seen a lot of lists online. Um, what do you mean by why don't they work? Um, well, it actually the title is like 
uh, do why do chess variants work? But then there's like n apostrophe t in brackets. So you know sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, but I mean you know chess variants have a pretty interesting history because like you know Capablanca famously was like okay chess is done really isn't it and tried to um, you know have, have popularized his variant and like failed pretty hard. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I mean, this game, Omega, you know, was pretty popular for a bit, but hasn't really gone anywhere. I, I have to wonder, you know, why that is, because I think it's a pretty pretty strong variant. Yeah. Um... I also tried to make a kind of taxonomy for variants, so um, I class um, Chess 960 as like a, a sibling variant, and also King of the Hill, and um, mm. a couple other ones, and then um, 3 check I consider um, like a step sibling, and then uh, Crazy House and Bug House. Are like cousins, and then a, with Atomic being an alien variant, um, yeah. Trying trying to think about like you know if there's anything that makes successful variants, do they have anything in common? But then you know my 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 whole blog post is just kind of like a, a long shrug about that because it's like you know you can't really predict an innovation without making it, and you can't put your finger on what makes. A lot of these variants so great, um, you know, you can't do it beforehand. You have to just try it out, and maybe you'll uh, figure something out. I think I... things like King of the Hill, where it can be played on, like, so I, I kind of I've organized them into like, I mean, there's different boards and stuff, and then like variants that you can play on those boards. So like King of the Hill, you can pretty much play with addition to any variant mm -hmm. yeah that's so pretty that's, insane. i mean that's like, insane yeah same with crazy house and bug house and um but i know three check doesn't work with some that i've tried like three check with s chess is very overwhelming for white i believe okay. just because the uh the major the major pieces can come in there very fast and uh yeah, just sacrifice mm -hmm. some like you can sacrifice anything and have you tried for three check. increasing the number of checks? Yeah, we tr we did four check and that uh I mean I mean yeah, but it yeah. We tried four check and it was fine, I guess. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe the number of checks needs to be like higher than the number of pieces that you can sacrifice in quick succession. That would work. I mean, I definitely, you know, I definitely take your point, but I would also like think that, you know, there's like discussing chess games as abstract entities with like the, you know, the rules and like just in a very like, Platonic way, but then there's also like discussing them and thinking about them as as chess variants, you know. So they're they're grounded in a game that people who are not game designers yeah, yeah. play. Um, I think I think people are fairly reluctant to try new things. With I mean, I've seen that more. I don't know. I mean, I guess it could just mean me. Uh, but like, at least convincing other friends to try new, uh, try new types of chess has been more difficult than I would imagine. Mm -hmm. I guess. Like, I would think it would be like most people would be interested, and in at least want like something besides standard. Like that was one of the things just that I really like about chess is just that there's not just one type of play you can i don't know at least on lead chess you can you know play eight or eight or nine i think mm -hmm. and not get bored i mean i really like 
anti chess and horde. Um, I mean, that's that's probably a, a huge advantage chess has over Go because Go is like you know more complex mathematically, but yeah. you know there aren't really any Go variants that are independently as uh, as good. We played a lot of uh, like so you can play like any board size. So we played a lot of weird board sizes, and we have played. I mean, the 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 variants we have played for Go have been, I would say, fairly different. So, I mean, it changes the game quite a bit. Um, but they're, I would say they're fun, and they are fun, and I do like them. They just uh, a lot less like Go than uh, than what Go would be, I guess. Mm-hmm. But, uh, different board sizes is generally fun. Like, you can, since it's a grid of 19 by 19, you can change either of those numbers to whatever you want, really. Um, make it uneven board and stuff like that, which I mean, I don't think a lot of you will do, but Yeah, yeah, I, I tried a few um, big boards on on KGS back in the day Yeah, there was, there was, we were planning to do really, there was like, I think a 16 by something on Jelsey. There's just other big boards that we didn't get to, uh, sadly. Yeah, hopefully they, um, they get that up and running again. Best. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way for me to give you more time, which I would definitely do. It may not be tonight, but I'm always welcome to. Oh, we're going to play it again. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, right. awesome. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to find opponents at this game, especially. like Mostly, I can talk people into like um, you know playing Sarah Wine Chess or um, mm. you know Crazy House 960. But like anything other than that is like a, hard, a really hard sell. Yeah. I had one friend... Um, who I stream Buckhouse with a lot, um, Frolic. He's a national master, and uh, we played a match of Sarah when, and he kicked my ass. Uh, and uh, but he didn't really seem to to mind that you know, like he still didn't really want to. He was only really playing it to indulge me. Like since Pie Chess has rated <laughs> variants now, sorry, rated, you know, it has, it has ratings. I've still not managed to get him to. Uh, to come and take all of my points, so I'm still the I'm the highest rated one on there, even though he would uh, he would uh, wipe the. For which variant? I'm sorry. For which variant? Did you uh, say you're just, the highest? Uh, Sarah one.
Have you played uh, Judo Chess? It's a funny one. Um, I've never played it. Um, I've seen. The, I've watched some streams and mm. oh, you moved. I haven't played. There's. Uh, there's. Oh, I just played. Uh, oh my god. Oh. Oh well. I know there's there's four player crazy house and I I think four player bug house of that but I haven't played it yet. I've only played two player. Uh-huh. Man. Should have took more time on that one. I was like, "Ah, I can undermine the defense of the E1." Ah, got you back. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's blunders galore now. <laughs> Four player crazy house. That's uh that's a concept. Yeah. It says the wizard's more. Oh, man. I think I'm going to... Yeah, might as well. I really do. I like the wizard piece. I don't know if I. It says it's. It says it's a four. I give it. Ooh. What does it say? The bishop is. Oh, the bishop's four. No, it says bishops. Bishop and knight is three, which I disagree with. Uh huh. Uh. All right. Not good. I'm pretty bad at uh, time pressure. Just, just to reward you. Uh, it <laughs> I, seems I'm, like I'm, you have more time than me, though. I thought I think I got a bit really? complacent. And I didn't realize you'd moved at one point. Uh, I have ten, and you have fifteen. No, oh, I, 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 I thought those. I had ten, yeah. and you had fifteen. Oh, I think yeah, I have ten right now. Um, I think I can get away with being greedy here. Take this one. Yeah, I was wondering. It's for, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yes, you can. Darn. So I'm down a bishop, I guess. Probably more. I'm not counting it. Let me see. So it seems like one of your favorite variants is uh, Contamination Chess. I haven't played that recently. I, well, I, I think I came up with it. I mean, I don't give my... I don't know. But uh, 
I think it's a fun way to checkmate. Yeah. Um, I've also been playing. There's a few. Well, there's there's been like a list of like 15 that I've been playing on Pi Chess recently. Um, Corruption Chess is also a favorite. Um, just if your king captures something, you win. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's been pretty fun. Because it, it leads to... I mean, you're a little safer at the beginning because it just your king's guarding all those pawns and whatnot, but then your king can make a run for it kind of at the end, like King of the Hill or... Um, yeah. That's okay. I see that now. Mercenary chess, I think, is a it kind of like it. It's mercenary chess is a check once with a rook to win, hmm. and that's been pretty. It's it's kind of like three check, I would say, but uh, yeah, check once yeah. with a rook, and then you can also win in all the usual ways. Correct. Yeah. Have you ever played King of the Hill with like someone who is like super strong at chess, like a grandmaster or whatnot? Um, I mean, I've played in a few tournaments, and I've, uh, but nothing like. I've played more. I played Atomic against some a grand some grandmasters, and I've played Horde against a few, or maybe not grandmasters, but masters in some sense, I guess. I know. Uh -huh. I think it's interesting how, like, you know, when you fight King of the Hill, I'll lose to titled players just because they're so good at chess. Like, I played Richard Rappert um, a couple of years ago mm -hmm. in King of the Hill, and it was just so bad because he just beat me as though it was a chess game. And <laughs> never even got into any King of the Hill kind of stuff. He just wiped the floor with me. But, like, if it was Crazy House, then, like, I can take on a titled player and, and do pretty well. Um so that's like why I, I consider like you know King of the Hill is like much closer, and then but then with Bug House it's yeah. like you know you can um, sometimes it reduces to chess like it's uh, hmm look on the seven okay um, like you know you can get uptime and then um, just try and win at chess to get the partner to sit. To be careful. Yeah. To be accurate. Maybe this one. You have two pieces. You have two pieces. All I gotta do. Right. I'm a big fan of Horde. I mean, I practice a lot, but I, I wish it was more balanced or... Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm not I'm not very familiar with Horde. I mean, I played a little bit. So, like, is it... Um, like, theoretically, is it supposed to be um, in favor of the player with the pawns, or...? Um... I believe so. Oh man, my king's gonna be on a run here, I guess. Um, Actually, I think it's mate in two because my wizard covers that uh, G one. Ah, uh, yeah. The yep, nice. So I only have the rook. Oh man, I forgot about the wizard there. 
I was keep, I was seeing it at the eye of my bishop, but I didn't see. Yeah, nice. Is there? Well, I don't know if there's a resign button, but um, oh. there yeah, it's fine. Oh. You can go ahead and check. There's. All right. Yeah, it's only one move. All right. GG. Great game. Um, yeah, I'm definitely would want to play this more in the future, or would be interested. I enjoyed chatting. All right, man. Um, um, any any words on Omega Chess? Um, well, I hope if you have um, many viewers, then some of them will uh, try and uh, try try the variants. Pretty fun. Pretty um, it's pretty new. Yes. Uh, in our video, let us let us know if you ever want to play with me or y'all. Um, I'll post his information, I guess, in the descriptions as well as ours. Um, yeah, we'll play. Hopefully, get a small community going. All right, awesome. All right, I'll talk to you later. Yeah.